hey welcome guys welcome to my youtube channel once again i came with a very interesting tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to tell you how you can implement the firebase authentication from the mobile number and the otp so i have already designed the screen as you can see the mobile number and if i click on this and i enter mobile number then it will ask me for otp so i already designed the screen in this video i'm going to cover up the step by step processor for implementing the OTP okay firebase authentication so first of all we will go to the firebase project so in my previous videos I have explained how you can install the firebase so you can find out there so if you did not found okay so let's go to the authentication part here in authentication it's asking sign up sign in method so we have to go to sign in method here we have to add the provider so my provider is the phone number click on allow and once you click on allow then here you need to add your testing phone number okay so first uh, of all plus nine one seven one nine three two five two double nine and the verification otp this is a default number because they have given some limitation for that so we have to take that okay so limitation in the sense like uh, uh, we cannot send multiple otps on the same number so that's why i have given my number into the testing so we won't feel any problem so just click on save so after click on save then you will find the enable option over here okay now what is the next so let's go to their documentation so here we have the apple documentation so in apple documentation what they are saying so here this is the sdk installation i already told you now we have to go to the authentication sdk so go back to your project under your target go to the gender and here you will see the packages which already we have added for the analytics and crash analytics and performance now click on plus and select the new package that is firebase auth click on add now your package has been added now go to the sign in capabilities in sign in make sure you have login with the correct details okay and here next what we need to add a notification i will tell you why notification because we can listen the notification as per their document so click on push notification notification has been added now again click on general go to background modes here add the background modes in background modes you have to enable background fetch remote notification and background processing so this is the configuration from the uh, your xcode and next you have to add one small line in your config file so click on plus paste firebase app delegate proxy enable after doing that just make it boolean and by default no so this is done from here now next go to the their document firebase on authentication we already done sign in method we already done now enable app verification so enable app verification can be done from the two types one is the app verification can be done from the two type one is the silent apns another is the recapture verification so here for the silent apns we have to do some configuration here come back to your uh, application go to the project setting after going to the project setting then go to the cloud messaging after going to the cloud messaging you will see cloud messaging api disable so click on three dot go to manage api cloud here you can see this api is coming but with button enable so click on this button enable so this api has been enabled now i will come to my firebase project i will refresh that so just command r or control l r so here you can see the cloud api has been enabled okay now second thing it's asking for apns auth key so this apns auth key you can get from your apple developer account so in apple developer account go to certificates and identifiers click on keys here you can see the plus button okay and make sure you cannot create more notification key so if you will click here 
then you can see you have already reached to the maximum allowed number of keys for this service okay so make sure whenever you create it can be only two maximum two key you can create for any service either it is put no push notification or sandbox or whatever so make sure when you create that just save it at your end okay so i have created this push notification key so i will copy the name and over here i will click on upload i will browse my keys i have this keys so upload and over here this is my key id and over here you need to provide your team id team id is your this one uj something okay so this is your team id click on upload after click on upload your work is done from the firebase itself let's move to the coding so here this is done enable is done enable push notification from your project is done upload apn authentication is done inside your project setting cloud messaging uh, project setting select the cloud messaging tab this is done apns is done this is done so re recapture in case silent push notification is failed then we our application should open this recapture screen and after that we will get the target so here go to your application back general go to your application you can see this encoded app id after adding your app you just copy that copy go to your xcode in xcode go to your sign in uh, here go to your url type in url type if you are not getting this tab then you can click on plus button and you will get at the place of url scheme just copy paste that id and hit on enter save now you have done this now next what is the next let's go back to the document we have done this we have done this now this is the code for authentication okay so i will copy paste this i will copy and i will go to my otp verification so here i will paste this so this function will trigger when i click on next button so i will copy paste my code over here so it's asking me first of all import the package so from here import firebase auth so after doing that the next step it's asking me phone number so here let phone number equals country code and then more number so after that I, it will pass to here and at the place of this i will just print the error print error dot localized description so whatever the error will be there now this is the error condition now if it is got success then what i need to do then i need to open my uh, otp screen so otp screen code i have already written over here you can see the navigation link so now next what i need to do first self dot otp view true before making this true self dot verification id equals verification id and before that i will put one condition if let if let verification id equal verification id so here this will be closed now i have save uh, verification code verification id and additionally what i am going to do i will pass over here mobile number that is mo number so so here i will print print phone number to see what is the output is coming so here you can see ui app delegate need to be forward the firebase authentication so now we have to work into the firebase demo app. so here we have just enabled the notification and everything but now we have to implement the features for uh, listening the push notification so first of all class app delegate here i will extend ns object comma ui application delegate so after doing that then did finish with the launch with option so here return true and before that i will take this code from here and i will paste over here now here 
एट द रेट यू आई एप्लीकेशन डेलीगेटर अडेप्टर इन साइड दैट आई नीड टू पास एप डेलीगेट डॉट सेल्फ एंड हियर वेर डेलीगेट सो इट इज दन नाउ नेक्स्ट डिड रजिस्टर फॉर रिमोट नोटिफिकेशन डिवाइस टोकन सो हियर आई हैव टू रजिस्टर द ओथ सो हियर ओथ and for that i need to import package import firebase auth so now auth dot auth dot set apns token and token will be my uh, device token and this will be sandbox so if you required you can give the condition over here for uh, production and sandbox you can control that okay so when you are pushing your application to live then make sure it should be production okay so as of now we will use the sandbox now next did receive remote notification which fetch completion handler so here if auth dot auth dot can handle notification inside notification i have to pass user info and if it is true then completion handler inside that i have to give no data just for testing purpose okay next this is done up to here so it's in some error okay it's uh, gone now we have to write the code for recaptcha so here open url now this is this is the code and here if auth dot auth dot can handle url i have to pass the url and if it is if true then send return return true else so here i will just run with the real device and we'll see the output so here i go to the application in my phone i'm just entering the mobile number after entering the mobile number i click on the otp and now it is coming on the otp screen okay so now otp sent successfully done now we have to write the code for uh, verifying the otp and resending the otp so again i will go to the otp screen so here verify otp already i created the function private function resend otp so this is my resend otp function so in verify i have to just verify the user okay so we'll go to the documentation this we have done this we have done user default it is not required credentials it is also not required so now we will prepare the credentials so credentials will be same like verify otp so here in here also i need to import import firebase auth now after doing that the credentials will be with the help of verification id and otp so here i will take the otp so here auth dot auth dot sign in and the retrieve sign in with here i have to provide credentials and next it will be user error so here if error equals error it means there is some error print error dot localized description and from here i will return else print success and over here in addition user dot user dot i can say uid okay so this uid and by default i can say an a so this is for verify the otp after verifying the otp uh, we have one api suppose if otp is not received by user then from here we can send the resend otp so how we can resend the otp so for resend you just copy paste the same over here copy and paste so here you will see the phone number directly we need to pass the phone number which we are receiving uh, from the 
previous screen so just here and after doing that we have to set a verification id with the existing id and here we can show some toast or message whatever we would like to show code has been sent so after doing that go to your file over here phone number we are passing phone number from the content view so i will go to here and it's a combination of country code and the phone number so now click on run and i will see the application once again so seeing some error so here self dot so here i will add one variable that is string so after doing that i can edit the property inside that and i will run the application after running the application we will see the output just see the log over here okay i am entering my number so the notification has been sent if i click on resend then it will resend again and i can enter two three four five eight so i have entered with the wrong otp so it is saying that the multi-factor verification code used to create the auth credential is invalid so now i will send the valid otp so click on verify so here you can see it's got success and it's printing my user id so guys we have done with this video and i hope everyone understand what are the configuration we have to select what is the procedure to implement the firebase authentication in your ios application with the help of swift ui if you have any query or any doubt in the entire video end to end please put into the comment box and uh, just write me so that i can understand and if you have any other inquiry or you want any further video for any topic just ping me into the comment box and very important thing you can be a premium member of my channel just join me for the upcoming and very deep learning videos into the future thank you so much have a great time bye bye